In this video, we are talking about the most recent updates, changes to the algorithm on the Instagram platform now in September. Um, so yeah, without further ado, we're just gonna hop right into it. The updates are juicy though. You really wanna make sure you stick around till the end of the video because uh, yeah, there's some crazy changes that uh, you need to be aware of. First update is allowing you to basically use Instagram on your desktop. Now, what do I mean? Well, I made a video about this uh, right here what are, where I'm talking about how you can reply to your DMs and reply to your comments on Instagram through Facebook on your computer. Now, there's more to this. Instagram is also allowing you to post um, both pictures, videos, and IGTV videos through the Creator Studio um, on Facebook. So now you don't really just have to use your phone to post on Instagram. You can use your computer and you can do pretty much everything you would do on your phone on Instagram. You can now do that on your PC. And that's pretty convenient because you don't have to burn off your thumbs doing this 24 seven. You can, you can type like this and that's way better. So if you want to use Instagram on your desktop, check out this video because I'll show you guys how you set it all up and, and get started with using Instagram on your computer through Facebook. Now, second update is Instagram are going on a purge. What? Yeah, Instagram is purging or are purging a lot of accounts, especially in the meme niche. Now, why are they doing this? I don't know, but if you check out this screenshot right here, it's basically your dank claiming, which he made a Twitter post about it. Instagram, you deleted all of my accounts for absolutely no reason, no warning and no context behind this. 30, plus, uh, 30 million plus followers worth of accounts deleted in 24 hours. Fuck Instagram, reactivate your dank, reactivate um, autist. And that was basically some of his accounts. And, and that's 30 million followers deleted right off the bat. No warning, no nothing. Apparently, the reason Instagram did this was because they're claiming that the account is violating the TOS. Now, how was the vi account violating the TOS? Well, here's the thing, guys, and this is the problem. Now, the fact that Instagram just deleted all of his accounts is crazy. Um, I feel really bad for the guy, and uh, it's worse than this. It looks terrible, but this has happened to so many accounts as well. It's, um, it's really annoying and I'm gonna make another video addressing this topic specifically because uh, yeah, I'm having struggles with this myself and, and clients and, and students having issues with, with certain things regarding this with, with the bands and with them purging. So I'm gonna get back to this on another video as well. But the main problem, the main issue that Instagram is kind of stressing when it comes to this is because none of these accounts, none of these meme accounts are creating their own content. They're just stealing content from other accounts. And as much as that has always been like a thing, as long as you give credit, as long as, I mean, and for meme pages as well, it's stupid. Like who owns the right to a piece of meme content? Like it's not as if you took a picture in 4K and, and edited it in Lightroom and put it on your personal Instagram account where you got your own very professional photography. If somebody steals that picture, then I get you because you put five hours into that picture alone and it's it's you that took it. But when it's something that's put together in five seconds in Photoshop and, and the font is terrible and the pixels are weird, it's like, who cares? Yeah, I, I really don't get that. And so that comes back to the copyright stuff on, plat on the platform as well. Most content on Instagram is, I mean, you can, when somebody posts a picture on Instagram, it's, it's I mean, they're basically given everyone access to use it. It's like they're making the content free to use for everyone. Now, Instagram do want to protect creators. They do want creators to be able to get credit for their content, which is why you should be crediting people when you take pictures from them, especially if you know the creator of the piece of content, you should be um, you should be crediting them, uh, crediting them because the risk of you not doing this is that they report your page for stealing your content and the more of these bans you get on your page or punishments you get on your page, the worse it is for you, the more likely you're gonna have your page shut down. So make sure you give credit. Um, that's the key. And, and this also comes back to you creating your own content. This is why the creator strategy, um, the growth strategy revolving you creating your own content, check out that video. Um, but that's why that is so powerful because there are so few people on the platform right now creating their own content. So few people do it. And if you're one of the people that do it and you create good content and people want to repost it, you're going to grow a lot of followers. 
a lot of followers. So take leverage of that, guys. But again, it comes back to you actually, yeah, just creating your own content. It's it's really powerful, it's really important. There's a lack of it on the platform. And, and yeah, but Instagram apparently are purging a lot of accounts. They're shutting a lot of accounts down. So guys, be careful with what you do. Follow the terms of service. Yeah, don't use any black hat strategies because yeah, that's the next thing I'm gonna hop onto and talk about because it will punish you, it will get you at the end of the day. Update number three is that Instagram is going towards or cracking down on people using the mass story viewing strategy. Now, I did make a video talking about the mass story viewing strategy. You can check that out right here. It's basically a way you grow followers, 100, 200, 1,000 followers a day, more than that even, um, depending on your account. But people are going insane amounts of followers using a strategy called the mass story viewing strategy. Um, and yeah, check out the video right here. But basically, Instagram are talking about this and they're cracking down on the strategy strategy and they are doing everything they can to shut it down and they even said this in uh, in, in an article and you'll find the link that uh, link down below to all of these uh, articles that I'm mentioning as well but they said this Instagram has also confirmed that they're working on cracking down on the fake views and the growth hackers causing them they've also expressed that in the coming months we'll get new features that can help reduce the activity, but we won't know any more about this just yet. So yeah, they're working on um, things that are going to basically, yeah, new features that are gonna make it, um, yeah, harder to use this growth strategy. Basically, their end goal is to make it stop. And yeah, guys, it just comes back to the fact that black hat strategies isn't the way to go, white hat strategies are. And if you guys wanna check out um, the free training that I put together with my partner on this, who is the one presenting it. If you want to check out that free training on the best strategies to use to grow on Instagram, white hat strategies that are going to help you grow followers and also monetize these followers, then there will be a link down below to that webinar. It's uh, it's about two hour long training, so make sure you reserve some time for that. But yeah, I highly recommend you guys check that out. Now, the final update we're going to look at in this video is the following. Basically, some, some drama regarding Instagram's ad partner who's been tracking people's locations and basically yeah using people's information people's data um, people's personal data that they shouldn't be using um, for their own benefit to make more money. The text in the article reads the following. A trusted marketing partner in Facebook and Instagram called Hyper has been secretly collecting and storing data on millions of users against the policies of both of both social networks being Facebook and Instagram, including their locations and their stories content. This has been happening for over a period of multiple years with the partner secretly and intentionally collecting the data to create a detailed personal profiles. Now Instagram has since issued a cease and desist against the company and kicked them off the platform. But again, it's kind of like, ah, makes you feel a bit weird because there's been so many problems and 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 situations and 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 these things going on with the with the privacy of these platforms these social platforms both facebook and instagram and so it kind of gives you the gives you the chills but you know looks looks like it's good now but we never know and and no matter what they really can do whatever they want they they kind of own us so yeah what can we really do other than trust them because we use the platforms no matter what I mean it's not like we're gonna leave the platform but yeah guys that is pretty much the most key updates for September um, if you guys enjoyed the video smash 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 it you like it you like it you button button and help out the community would much appreciate that and uh, as always must all of you beautiful people continue on enjoying the day and I will see again you beautiful people in the next video Peace.